Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Vibs here from Slide Nerd. In this video, I will show you how to save an array list of custom objects when you rotate the screen with the help of parcel and parcelable. Let's get started. So here's something I would like to get an answer from you guys for. On my Facebook page, facebook.com slash slide nerd, I had asked a question today morning whether you would like to see me use a dark Android Studio theme for my upcoming videos. Now while some of you are saying yes, some of you are saying no, I would still like to know a good answer so that I can switch my further videos to a dark theme or keep the current theme. Do let me know in the comments below of this video. So let's go back to the topic now. Here's our app on pre-lollipop and lollipop devices that we have constructed so far. If we rotate the screen right now on lollipop, you will notice that we load the data again because it says 29 rows have been fetched thanks to a toast message I added. Once again, if you rotate the screen here, you will notice that the data is loaded once again. For the first step, we don't want this. Once we load the data in one of the activities or the fragments, we want to ensure that the data stays as long as the user doesn't exit the app, at least for now. Later, we'll see how to make it more persistable by putting it inside a shared preferences or database storage or whatever. So let's take a look at how we can do this. If you go to our fragment box office class, all the data that we want is stored inside this array list of type movie objects. It's called list movies. If you go down further, you will notice that inside our send JSON request method, where we have gotten a response, we have stored that response inside this list movies. So how can we handle the fact that when the screen rotates, this data gets saved? It's pretty simple, right? We have to just override the on save instant state method. I don't think I have done it so far, so I'll have to go here below my constructor and say on save instant state. So once I do that, here all I have to say is out state dot put something right as you notice it says put parcelable array list and then there's put boolean string there is no mention of a simple array list anywhere except for a string array list which can be found here at the bottom somewhere which says put string array list there you go put string array list is out here now put parcelable array list is the one that we want to use it says give it a key and give it an object that extends parcelable. So what is this parcelable and what are we supposed to do? If you go to the documentation for parcelable, you find out that it's an interface. It says interface for classes whose instances can be returned to and restored from a parcel. So what is a parcelable? What is a parcel? To go to parcel here, it says container for a message, data and object references. Now this entire concept is a huge one. Parcel, parcelable, intent, bundle, binder, they are all members of the same family, something called IPC in Android. Now I'll be talking about it in detail, but just to show you the rough overview of what a parcel basically does, here you go. You have an object here, you say right to parcel, all the data from that object is going to be taken and put inside a parcel. Now this parcel is going to be given to your Android framework where it's going to run along. Now when you rotate the screen and when you come back, that parcel is going to be available to you once again from which you can read the data into the appropriate fields as shown in this image. So that is the simplest way to understand. In other words, your class that you want to save implements parcelable. You override the methods and you decide how data gets written inside this parcel object that we are talking about. Before we get to the meat of parcelable, there is one more way we can save this data and that is by using a serializable. Here I can simply say outstate dot put serializable. In this case, all you have to do is make sure that your movie class implements the serializable interface. If you're familiar with Java, serializable is one more way of writing and reading objects to and from something. So here is a comparison of the different ways you can do it. There is serializable, there's parsable, there's JSON, but notice that of all the ways mentioned here, the parsable is the fastest way of writing and reading objects which is why we have a special discussion on it. I have not talked about serializable in my Java videos at the time of making this video. But by the time you're watching this, it's quite possible that I have something on it as well. So let's get back to the parcelable and see how we can implement that in our class movie. So inside our movie class, simply implement the parcelable interface. You need to override two methods. One of them is describe contents. The other one is write to parcel. Right now, I have a log statement inside both of them indicating something is about to happen. If you go to the documentation for both the methods, you will notice that there is describe content which simply says 
describe the kind of special objects contained in this parsable marshall representation in our case there are no special objects and we are going to return zero by the way if you're curious on what is the special object there's a nice stack overflow post where they have talked about it in detail be sure to read this post as well if you're curious going back there's the write to parcel method here where it says flatten this object to a parcel in other words you have to take this parcel object that is provided to you and store all your instance variables or properties of the movie class inside this parcel so going back to our code we can do that simply by saying dst dot write and there's a write for every type of data that we have except the complex objects and other stuff so we need to first write the id that we have inside long id we can simply do that by saying write long here and we can pass the id same way we can write a string by saying write string here and we can pass the title here now coming to the third variable here which is of type date so what do we do we go down here and if we say dst dot write there is no such method for writing a date object so there are two ways you can do this you can either say write serializable here and you can pass the date which is not a good idea because you know very well serializable slows things down the other way is you can convert the date object to a long and then write and read that long let me show you how we do that we simply say dst dot write long and we can say date that is our release date theater dot get time now this is going to give us a long in milliseconds and while reading it back we can convert that milliseconds back to a date object now this will be preferable in fact i would like to ask you which one you think is better and faster the other variables out here are pretty simple to write and straightforward so i'm going to skip through that there's int here for that you have the right int method and there are all strings now one more thing that i would like to bring to your notice is that there is no write boolean method if you go here and if you say dest dot write boolean there's just a boolean array there is no single boolean so if you have a boolean variable the way i do this is very simple if the value of the variable is true just write an int for one otherwise write int for zero and read it back the same way so that fixes the boolean problem as well so let me complete the remaining fields so at this point inside the right parcel method i have written all the necessary fields now ensure that while reading back you read them in the same order otherwise the string values if you read them upside down without regard to the order you're going to store the wrong value inside the wrong string variable so let's go back and see how we can implement the read part of the parcelable so the second part in the parsable documentation says classes implementing the parsable interface must have a static field called creator it's of type parsable dot creator interface now this is the part responsible for doing the read inside your parsable if you go to the parsable dot creator it says interface that must be implemented and provided as a public creator field that generates instances of your parsable class from a parcel in other words it has a method called create from parcel and that's exactly the whole idea so if you take a look at the source code sample here inside the parsable documentation notice that they have made it public static final which is exactly what is specified as per the documentation so let's go and just copy part copy this part here and add it inside our movie class here so we go down all the way we have our public static final parsable dot creator now this time the object that we are trying to restore is movie so we can add movie over there same way we can replace it everywhere you can have a control r inside android studio to just replace stuff so i can simply say my parsable and replace that with movie object everywhere replace all so now you see there is this method create from parcel let's put a log statement here and understand when this method gets called here so we say create from parcel here and we can say movie get a better understanding now inside this we have simply said return new movie so we are returning a new object of the class movie from the parcel that is provided inside now the problem is we don't have a constructor which is defined in this format so we have to go up and make our constructor which will be public movie and it will also take a parcel parcel argument here it'll call parcel input and from this we have to restore all the data back so we can go here and simply restore it the same way we read stuff for example you can say id which is our long id we can say parcel input dot read long and as you notice there is no concept of keys over here which is why i said the order in which you read and write stuff must be important the same way we can restore the other fields as well we can say in dot read string input dot read string here 
at the top inside our constructor and this will give us access to the title that we are looking for now there's date which we need to take care of if you say input dot read long and that's going to give us a date if you remember if you go to the bottom here we had our right string this right long right string and right long here for the release date so here we need to convert that back to our date object at the top by reading back so that's how you can read stuff now if you're reading a boolean it's pretty simple just take input dot read int and check if it's one if it's one make your boolean variable true otherwise make it false so let me complete with the remainder of the reading stuff as well so there's our complete read part of the process completed as well so you go down down there you notice that there's another method which says new array in case if you're planning to use a movie array object and you want to save that then this takes care of that as well other than that just straight from parcel where we have a log cat statement and this will be triggered so let's take a look at this in action going back to fragment box office to save all the list of movies when the screen rotates go to the on save instance state method here use the out state variable say put parcel of array list give it a key and put the array which is list movies in our case now i need to create the key so press alt enter and it says create the constant field state movies i'll simply call it state movies over here at the top at the same time while restoring things back inside the on create view method I'm going to simply check if the saved instance state is not null. If the saved instance state is not null, it means we are coming back from a rotation. Here I can load it again by saying m list movies here or list movies here. And then I can say saved instance state dot get parcelable array list. And I can pass the same key, which is state movies in this case. And don't forget to set this list movies on your adapter by saying adapter box office or set movies list movies over here. Also, you need you don't need to send a JSON request every time in our on create view. Send it only if it's the first time. So we can have an else clause here, and we can say send the JSON request if this activity or fragment is being created for the very first time. For all the subsequent times, simply load it and display it. That's the whole idea. Now, when you run the app, let's take a look at what happens. So when you go to the main activity on pre lollipop, notice it says 29 rows fetch. Same happens when you go here on the lollipop device as well. And here's a list of all our movies. But now when we rotate the screen by selecting this rotation icon, take a look at that. There is no more loading. Again, you go back here, you rotate the screen, there is no more loading. So that is working perfectly solving our issue of loading data again and again. But if you're a person like me, you believe what Bill Gates says all the time. I will always choose a lazy person to do a difficult job because a lazy person will find an easier way to do it. And if you're a lazy person like me, then the parceler library is the right one for you. You don't have to write all this parcelable code, write and read and all this stuff. All you have to do is add an annotation called at the rate parcel in your class after you add a Gradle dependency for this library and it will automatically parcel and unparcel all the fields that you have. There are some restrictions like it says don't add private fields and then you have to use this method parcelable is parcels.wrap and unwrap and there's some amount of documentation going on here about it. And I'll probably cover this sometime in my videos somewhere when I talk about this library. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Noon, and let me know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.